is some good stuff, y'all. I promise. Hey guys, it's Chris for Collard Valley Cooks. I am cooking today for Tammy. Tammy had uh, some surgery on her tooth, so she needs some soft food. So she said that she wanted some soup. And then she also said that she wanted some crazy soup. And uh, she said, I'm just a guy to do it. I'm just a guy to make it. So uh, let's put this together. Anybody could do this. I got two chicken breasts right here and we have cooked these and we also had bouillon in with it and so we have the chicken breast and the bouillon that we cooked about an hour and a half so that's already done um, and I'm supposed to have three cups of broth so I don't exactly have three cups of broth but what I can do since this has bouillon in it so I can pour this out, see how much I got, and then add water to get to where I got three cups. All right, that brings it up to three cups for me. So let's put that in there. One day, Chris was at work. I made this recipe a long time ago. I don't believe he was working then. He was either working or fishing. I'm pretty sure he was working. And I just threw stuff in the thing. I said, I'm just gonna make I was live and I just threw everything in there I could think of. And I said, y'all, what am I gonna call this soup? I guess we'll call it crazy soup because I'm just putting everything in it. And it's one of my favorites. And the other thing I need to do, I didn't think about this, but I need to tear this chicken up. So let me get a fork, a couple of forks and tear this chicken up. You know what they say about crazy people. They are the best looking. So, I guess y'all can decide if I'm crazy or not. I don't think I'm crazy. Now, I have to add, this is so easy. Get this, how crazy is this? I gotta add a can of chili with beans. Just a can of chili with beans. That's cheap. No wonder they call it crazy. So here we go. Chili with beans. We'll wash a little of that chili out. Make sure we get it all. All right, chili with beans, check. Uh, 28 ounce can of petite diced tomatoes. 28 ounce can. Well, this is a 14 or 15 ounce. So, put two of those in there. All right, there's one. There's number two. 28 ounce can of drained pintos. That was not as easy as I anticipated, but they're drained. All right, so there's your pintos. Seven ounces of shoe peg corn. That's seven ounces, one ounce a second. A medium jar of salsa. And this is her dad's salsa. This is our favorite. I've had plenty of teeth work myself. Matter of fact, I gotta go to the dentist tomorrow and have three Crowns, three crowns. All right, so let's get this onion in there. There it is. This is crazy, ain't it, y'all? Let's see, a teaspoon of onion powder. It's wacky, wacky soup. All right, teaspoon of onion powder. Now normally we use badea fajita seasoning, but they were out at the store. So I'm gonna have to use this. This is an alternative. Uh, it is, Lord, I tore off the name, the brand name. That's it, right there. Okay. All right, a teaspoon onion powder, a tablespoon. You know what I just did? It's supposed to be two tablespoons of that. Oh Lord, now we gotta do math. All right, how many teaspoons is in a tablespoon? Tammy? Three. Three. So that's one, two, three. So that's one tablespoon, if I'm doing my math right. One, 
two, three. I hope that stuff is good because we just put a lot in there. It's not our badea. We usually love the badea. All right, tablespoon of taco seasoning right there. Pow. Uh, half teaspoon of pepper, black pepper. Half teaspoon of salt. Now, this does not say in her directions of her does not say to drain these black beans. I'm not going to drain these black beans. I'm pouring them right, right in there. Look how pretty that is. It's like, it's like modern art or something. And they can freeze this soup. And you can freeze this soup. All right, now the only thing that I am missing are the pimentos. How'd I skip them? There's no pimentos in here. Why did I think there was pimentos? I guess when I read it originally where it says pintos, I thought that was pimentos. So, I don't know why that's funny, but uh, I will stir this up. Woo, y'all. <laughs> oh, sure it is. It's a lot of soup. Look at all that. Look how pretty that is when you stir it up. You know what I ought to do? Put it on the stove and cook it. All right, I got that on the stove. I got it on the low. I'm gonna cook this about four days. Uh, and by then, Tammy, she, <laughs> she's, looking, she's looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm gonna cook it a little while. It'll probably bake in four days. Until it's warm, okay? So let's, uh, let's stir this up. And, and and let it cook a little while. Okay, here it is over here on the stove. Y'all, that is a pretty, it's a pretty, ain't it? Look how good that looks. Man. I mean, Tammy could have had all of her teeth operated on with all this soup. <laughs> all right, she's finally up and about a little bit. Look how good that soup looks. Mm -mm -mm. Man, that's good stuff now. I think we should sit that on the I counter. I can't wait. Y'all, if your wife, is not feeling too good. You should treat her like a queen and make her some crazy soup. <laughs> we're just crazy. Treat her like a queen. Or treat her like a princess. Oh, that looks good. This is my one of my Thank favorite. You. One of my favorite soups, y'all. I can't talk. I have got quite a few months of healing before I can get my real implant. So I will go without my tooth to eat when we're at home, mm -hmm. and then when we're in public, Let's be careful. It's going to be hard to eat with something, but I've got a retainer. Y'all know it makes me talk weird because <laughs> it's kind of thick, you yeah. know. So let's try. It. From now on, when I'm talking, I'm not going to talk exactly right, but really pretty close. Okay. Let's eat it. Let's eat it. Hungry. Let's eat it, eat How many it. bowls are you going to use? I was, what do you mean? Oh, you've got already got bowls on the table. What, okay. honey? Well, I ain't got no spoons. Oh, that's all right. Mm -hmm. Crazy soup. Crazy soup for crazy people. It's some good stuff, y'all. I promise. And I like... You want me to deep you some too, Chris? No, I'll just go ahead and miss. Okay. So let me show you what I like to do to mine. I like to put a little bit of cheese. And I gotta take this retainer out to eat. Or I just make a mess. Can't have no chips. You're about to grab them chips, wasn't you? Yes. Yo, I can't have anything crunchy for a while. Well, how sad is that? I guess I'll just have to make some donuts. So Chris is getting dental work done. I've had dental work done. So y'all, this soup is going to come in handy over the next few days. Mm -hmm. It's some good, good stuff. Put a little mm -hmm. sour cream in it. Before you eat it up. And it's so good. I don't know if it's too hot for me to get it out, but I can see. You can eat with that hand. Boy, it's hot. Mm -hmm. It is really good.
good stuff. One day, Chris was at work. I made this recipe a long time ago. I don't believe he was working then. He was either working or fishing. I'm pretty sure he was working. And I just threw stuff in the thing. I said, I'm just going to make. I was live, and I just threw everything in there I could think of. And I said, y'all, what am I going to call this soup? I guess we'll call it crazy soup because I'm just putting everything in it. And it's one of my favorites. All right. Thanks for cooking for me, honey bunny. You're welcome. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. All right. We'll see you next time on Color Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. See you next time. Love ya. It's some good stuff, y'all. I promise.